let's take a look at one of the stronger functions of Scrapebox, the harvester. Let's say I want to find all the blogs in my niche that allow guest posts. That's one example. It can be used for so many other things, but let's make a simple example. So here I put the footprint, which is guest post. And the keywords, I'll put my niche. Let's say it's dog training. I can put here a list, cat training, etc. Okay. After I put it, of course, I made sure to use proxies and to harvest latest proxies. I can start harvesting Google. I click on start harvesting. I have here all, not all, but many sites I can harvest from. Google is clicked. I click start and Scrape box is starting to find URLs with guest posts inside and dog training afterwards when it will finish dog training it will move to cat training. Okay, let's stop it. We don't want to wait for too long. It's just an example after all. Stop. Yep, 600 results. That's a lot. Um the results appear here and I can just you know open a few and check them okay when I right click on the URLs there are many things many functions I can do on the URLs and one of them is to open them all in my browser that's what I want to do I want to take a look am I brave enough to open the seven year urls yes I am okay tweaked a bit the window um so here I see guest post which means this site accepts guest posts I can go later to contact and ask this site to send them my posts let's check another site so here is another site and here again a guest post which means this site will also accept guest posts so this is a very very uh, powerful tool the harvest and it is it is as strong as your imagination um which means that it's it can be quite weak for some people but just think how much you can get from just searching for any combination and get all the sites that use that combination <laughs>